Hi guys, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have this look filmed for you, and as the title suggests, it is a Rihanna inspired look. So I was googling photos of her when she had her fiery red hair, and I came across this photo. And I was, oh, can you see it? And I was super inspired by it because I thought that it was so cute but sexy at the same time because you have that red look and that sort of bed head like loose waves um, like piled on top of your head but then you have that cute little headband as well with the bow. So I thought that it would be a super fun look to film. Um, I didn't show you how I did the hair but all I did was curl it and then I put it um, in a ponytail on top of my head and then I sort of just bobby pinned the like stray pieces up so that they were really just like loose sitting on top of my head and then I left a few strands of course loose in the face and then added the headband so it's actually really easy um, the hair parts really easy to do and the makeup is actually pretty simple too if you see in the photo she has like really minimal eye makeup she's just sort of made like a really light smoky eye and then she, of course she has that bold lip so I'm not doing like exactly exactly as she um, she is in the photo because number one it's not my look and number two it's sort of hard to see so I just sort of was inspired by the red lip and I sort of just um, improvised in the eyes on the face and the face and another aspect of this video is that I am doing um, first impressions of a few of the products so the first thing where is it or the second thing is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. And I show you what it looks like in um, the video, but it's basically just a setting powder, like a translucent setting powder. I have mine in the shade Medium. And I love this powder. I've used it a little bit once before, but this time I put it all over my face, and I think it has such a nice finish to it. Um, it's really beautiful. It does mattify your face, but it still has sort of like a blurring, almost like luminescent, glowing sort of finish to it with still being matte at the same time. So that is super beautiful. Um, another thing I used was this um, Becca Shadow and Light Bronze slash Contour Perfector. It looks like this inside, so you have a darker matte side and you have a lighter sort of bronzing side that's a little bit iridescent. Um, this is also, I'm literally obsessed with every single thing that I tried in this video. Um, this is amazing because you do have both the colors in there, so you can really warm up your face and contour at the same time, or you can mix them together and it's still a beautiful shade. Um, yeah, I really like this. I'm going to definitely use this again and see how, like, long it lasts and things like that, and I'll let you guys know. Another thing that I used... I showed it to you um, in the actual tutorial, but it is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. And that is like a super full coverage, long wearing foundation. And so I can't um, contest to the long wearing, but the finish is really nice. Even though it is really full coverage, it still has like a really nice um, natural look on the face. It's not powdery or, or anything like that. And... It also feels really nice on the face. It doesn't feel like those full coverage foundations where you feel like you don't even like feel your skin anymore. So it actually is really comfortable. And um, I will put down below um, how long wearing it is. So I'll wear it all day and I'll see how it lasts. And yeah, I hope you guys like the video. If you have any um, questions or comments, just let me know. I will put in the description bar all of the products I've used. And yeah, if you like it, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hi guys. So I'm going to start off with a mini size of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I am putting so much on my face. I don't know why, but I'm going to use my hands to rub that in. Then I'm using the Kat Von D Locket Foundation, as I told you earlier. Um, in the intro and I am in the shade light 45 and since it is so high coverage I'm going to start off with just one pump and buff that into my face with a dry reel technique sponge then use a second pump for the rest of my face. So I'm starting off with the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Skin Concealer in light warm and I'm putting that under my eyes because as you can see in the Rihanna photo she has super bright under eyes. Then I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard putting that on my chin, forehead down the nose, around my nose and around my mouth. Then I'm using the same dry real technique sponge and I'm going to buff that all into my face. 
Then I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder and a Real Techniques Setting Brush and I am just going to set my under eyes with this powder. You might have seen in my other videos I've used this, but this is my favorite under eye setting powder because it's so brightening. Then I'm using my Laura Mercier um, Secret Camouflage Palette and a Tarte Liner Brush. I am mixing the two colors in the SC3 palette and I am just basically going to start pinpoint concealing. Then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Skin Perfecting Powder in the shade Medium 2 and I'm using a Real Techniques Powder Brush and I am buffing my T-zone. Then I'm using this Becca Shade and Light uh, Contour sort of bronzer with a Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm using the light shade to warm up my um, face, so basically my forehead and my jawline areas like that. Then I'm going to use this e.l.f. Complexion brush, and I'm going to use the dark side, and I'm going to contour my face with that. Then I'm taking this Real Techniques foundation brush and using the dark side down my nose and this e.l.f concealer brush and buffing that out to contour my nose. Then I'm using this um, blush by Becca with a Sonia Kashuk blush brush. This blush is in the shade Flower Child so it's a nice pinky gold shade. Then I'm going to use um, Champagne Pop by Becca, the Jaclyn Hill color, and I'm going to use a contour brush by Real Techniques and highlight my forehead a little bit, my cheekbones, and my cupid's bow. Then I'm going to use this NARS uh, matte velvet lip crayon in the shade Cruella and then the Marc Jacobs red lipstick um, that you get with the VIB Rouge kit um, from Sephora and it is in the shade uh, So Rouge I believe it's called. Then I'm going to do my eyebrows with Anastasia the Brow Wiz in Taupe and the gel in um, Caramel and I'm going to do my eyebrows really quick with those. Then I'm going to use the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D and I'm going to use the Eco Tools Blending Brush and I'm going to start off with the shade Lazarus. So it is a gray tone, um, just a light gray tone and I'm going to start buffing that into my crease um, back and forth, windshield wiper, circular motions just to add some definition to my crease. Then I'm going to use the shade Ludwin. So this is a orange shade and I'm just going to use this to add a little warmth. Then I'm going to use the shade Liberatus with a Sephora um, crease brush and I'm going to use that as a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight because it is stark white. Then I'm going to go in with Lazarus again and I'm going to use a flat shader brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to put that everywhere on my mobile eyelid. Then I'm going to use that Liberatus again with a flat blending brush by EcoTools and I'm going to just um, fix my uh, brow bone and inner corner highlight and make sure that they're really bright. Then I'm going to use the Eco Tools blending brush again and go in with Lidwin and just keep buffing out my crease. Then I'm going to use um, that Real Techniques uh, blending brush again with Lidwin and Lazarus and I'm going to uh, line my lash line with those two colors. Then I'm going to take Salios and I'm going to basically just put that all over my mobile eyelid with a Real Techniques uh, blending brush and then I'm going to use Lazarus and Ludwin again with the blending brush by EcoTools and I'm just going to buff out my crease to make sure I didn't create any har harsh lines from the dark gray that I added on my eyelid. Then I'm going to use a clean brush by EcoTools and then I'm going to buff that out a little bit and then use Latinus and Lidwin mix together and just buff out my crease some more and make sure that the color is not too dark because Rihanna in the photo has a very light neutral smoky eye. Then I'm going to take the Salios color again and just buff that in a little more because I blended it out quite a bit so I'm just making sure that there is a little bit of that gray color still showing through near my lash line. Then I'm going to use Champagne Pop again with the crease brush by Sephora and I'm going to add a bit of that to my brow bone highlight and my inner corner highlight just to brighten it up since the colors are all matte on my eye. Then this is a Rimmel Scandalize Mascara, the Scandalize by Kate, and I'm going to just put that mascara on my eyes. Then use um, the Ardell Demi Lashes, I believe, with Revlon Lash Glue and I'm just basically going to stick those lashes on.
Then I'm going to use this black felt tip liner by Sephora and I'm going to line my upper lash line on the inner third of my eye just to make sure that my fake lashes blend in seamlessly with the rest of my eye. Then I'm going to take that Rimmel Scandalized Mascara again and coat my lower lash line with it. Then I am done and this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it.